Hey everybody, my name's Commander Eagle 131, and I'd like to show off my Hope Tech Astral Engine. I wanted to build a Hope Tech style ship and keep with their theme of heavy equipment, but rather than build a space truck, I wanted to design something more reminiscent of a space train, all without being too literal. The Astral Engine is role played as a line of ships having several different variants built off of the front section. The other variants may get their own showcase videos in the future, but for now, the Astral engine being shown here is the flagship model, and it's fitted for heavy cargo hauling. Think space freight train. You should have heard Ron Hope pitching a new ship designed to the shareholders. They're freight trains in space. I can't do it justice. You'll have to ask Mr. Hope to do it. So let's pull up the Astral engine spec sheet. It has a C-Class reactor with an output of 40, supports up to 7 crew, has jump range of about 30 light years, a mobility rating of about 60, base cargo capacity of about 8500, and its total mass is 3922. So you can see it's a very capable cargo hauler. The ship can jump max range, all while having plenty of power for advanced weaponry and shielding. She can actually haul a lot more, as long as the captain is okay with sacrificing mobility for more cargo modules. Exterior design-wise, I didn't want the train theme to be too on the nose, as I wanted the ship to actually look like a spaceship. I tried to suggest the train theme heavily up in the bow section, trying to suggest the ship is up on rails, and have what might look like to be a partially exposed engine compartment underneath. Having the grab drive's metallic shine and shimmer be partially visible from the shadows there might suggest that that's where the engine sits. The nose does contain a tile part, but I think that they meld well with the Hope Tech pieces, and I really wanted to have something up there resembling what might be a Helium-3 ram scoop. In addition to the space train aesthetic, I tried to keep a lot of the same industrial styles of pipes and other cosmetics that you'd find on any other Hope Tech space truck. The goal was to keep the exterior looking busy and industrial. I really wanted the Astral engine to meld in with Hope Tech's other offerings, like it'd just be another Hope Tech ship for sale at Hope Town when you flip through their offerings. So interior design-wise, I added halves that I imagined might go on a long-haul ship. The interior setup suggests that it can support a large crew for a few weeks at a time. It doesn't have the full self-sustenance like a large EEG ship shop expedition vessel would have, but any team operating an Astral Engine would definitely be able to survive in the field for a good amount of time without resupply. I'll be giving an interior tour at the end of the video, so go ahead and skip there now if you're not interested in heading off into the Builder with us. So before I get started in the Builder, I've got a few disclaimers for you. First, this will not be a Ship Builder Tool tutorial, this will be a Ship Build tutorial. I'll be showing you how to build this specific ship and assuming that you're already comfortable with the ship builder. Second, to build the Astral Engine to exacting specifications, you're going to need rank 4 ship designs, rank 4 piloting, and to be level 60 or above. Again, this is all required for exacting specifications. You should be able to build the ship without all that, but your mileage may vary based on your own level and skill ranks. Last, this ship relies on some heavy glitch building, the flick glitch. If you don't know how to do these, I'll be showing how during the builder segment. Things like your achievements won't be affected and you won't be branded as a cheater. All right, almost ready to head off into the builder, but first we're gonna need to head to Hope Tech in the Valo system to go pick up some Star Yard specific modules. So first for the main modules, we're gonna grab four Slayton SAL-6830 engines one Slayton SGD-3300 graph drive, one C-Class Pinch 8Z reactor, and four Hope 55 landing gear. Next, for the HAB modules, we're gonna need two HAB spines, one 2x2 computer core, and one 2x2 cargo hull. And last, for an optional module, we're gonna grab one Tower N420 shield generator. So a note about that shield, I selected this solely for exterior aesthetics, and it isn't harnessing the ship's true shield potential as it's only a class B and only provides about 970 shield. 
laugh all you want, but I really, really, really wanted to have a smokestack on the front section roof, and the B-Class shield fit that bill. So if that's not something you're really interested in, then go ahead and omit that shield. All right, let's go off and head into the builder. Okay, here we are in a builder. As you can see, I've got everything kind of exploded out so we can see each different, you know, kind of category. Um, so right here up front, these are all of our halves. It was a little bit hard to see from the intro. Um, all these halves were surrounded with all this stuff over here, but this is our halves layout. There's quite a few halves on this build. Lots of space to walk around inside your ship if that's your thing. So let's just skip to over here real fast. So this is what I like to call the big pile of stuff. This is a combination of cargo modules, fuel tanks, structural pieces that really lend to the ship's overall shape. Here's our engines. Here's a separate mini pile of stuff for the uh, bow section up here, the front section. These items over here, um, I kind of put them off to the side, but this stuff goes underneath everything. Some uh, cargo modules. Then over here, there's a lot of landing gear. Um, we'll be glitch building all this stuff in last, so the landing gear gets its own big pile over here in the corner. So without further ado, let's get started with the Habs placement. Okay, so to start with the hab placement, I'll walk you through um, how to do this on a piece-by-piece -piece basis. Um, oftentimes, I, if you've watched my other tutorial videos, I'll explode out each deck. When we do the habs, um, I don't really see the point in doing that anymore, so I'm just going to walk you through piece-by-piece, piece, and I think it'll just be easier for everyone that way. So to begin, open up your build menu and tap on over to your landing bays. We're going to start by placing this Shipbed 200 landing bay. So go ahead and get that placed. Next, focusing on this point right here on our landing bay, um, tap on over to your Habs tab. Scroll down to your Hope Tech Habs. We're going to be using a Hope Tech Workshop 2x1 attached to that end point there on the landing bay. Okay, next, focus on this point on your Hope Tech Workshop. We're going to be placing a stack of four Hope Tech one by ones of your choosing. I went with the companion ways, but we're going to place four stacked on top of each other, like so. Okay. Before we continue, let's not forget about our Docker. So go ahead and tap over to your Docker's tab. If you're going to manually place it, um, take one of these 100 DP Slim Dockers and flip it upside down. If not, you can just focus on this point and place it using the anchor points that way. Uh, but either way, we're gonna be using an upside down slim docker on that bottom one by one. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on this point right here at the top of the stack and tab on over to your Habs tab again and find a Hope Tech two by one control station. And that's gonna go there. Focusing on this point next, tab over to your cockpits tab and find a Nova Galactic Magellan C1X cockpit. Now a note about that real fast, you can use the Hope Tech cockpit if you'd like to keep this entire build Hope Tech. Um, I, I opted for this one because I like it better. I'm not a big fan personally of the Hope, Hope Tech cockpits and I didn't really feel like that one went too well with the space freight train aesthetic. Uh, so I just chose this one, but you can safely place a Hope Tech cockpit right here, if you so desire. Okay, so this is our basic pathway from exit points to cockpit and back. Um, so let's go ahead and go ahead and place the rest of these habs. So focusing on um, this point right here, okay, on our second deck on the one by one, we're going to place this Hope Tech Cargo Hall 2x2. Two two. And that gets mounted just like this. Okay. And then let's focus on these two points right here on the 2x2 two two Cargo Hall. We're just going to place this guy here, an armory on the side, like so. Okay. Now these are kind of optional. Um, focusing on these points here, 
these are optional, but I've got two one by ones here. Um, and I chose the Hope Tech storeroom variant of the one by one to kind of make it feel like these two rooms are a bit of an extension of the two by two cargo hall. Unfortunately, there's no two by three cargo hall that I can make extend all the way out to the back here. Um, because I wanted to make this all cargo hull, but uh, yeah, these are optional. I made it, I wanted to make it so that these two felt like an extension of this. Um, and uh, we'll be putting a window right here too, so you can have a nice kind of secluded, quiet place to contemplate life. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move up one level. So focusing on this point right here, okay, we're going to be placing a Hope Tech computer core two by two mounted just like this, all right? Next, we're going to focus on these two points on the side of our computer core. We're gonna be placing a Hope Tech all-in-one berth, okay? Then focusing on this point in the back, we're gonna be placing a Hope Tech living quarters, all right? Let's go ahead and check out this spot right here on the computer core. We're going to be placing a Hope Tech Infirmary right there. All right. Let's go ahead and swing around to the front of the ship right here on the third deck on this point on our ladder well here. We're just going to be placing this uh, Tayo Captain's Quarters. And that does it for the Habs layout. Okay, so before we move on, I'd like to talk about a few points regarding the uh, Habs layout. The first point I want to talk about uh, is player pathing. So the player comes in through the landing bay, goes through the workshop, up this ladder well here, through the control station, and into the cockpit. Uh, the docker's here, so if you're coming in through the docker, it's the same thing. It's just you skip walking through the workshop, just go straight to the cockpit this way. There should only be one set of ladders in this ship right here. I build all my ships with multiple decks with this mentality, or at least I try. Um, I won't get into the shop talk on why. Uh, I'll, I'm going to link a card right now that talks about the uh, door and ladder placement and how I handle it. Um, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and watch that right now. It's only a quick clip. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm just going to move on from that. Um, so the next point I want to talk about <laughs> is the uh, are these two by twos. So you hear, see here, I've selected a computer core in the cargo hull, and they're oriented like this. Um, so if you don't want a computer core up there, say you want a battle stations instead, um, you have to place these two by twos the way the system wants. So you see here how the Hope Tech battle stations is oriented like this. And let me switch back to the computer core. You see how it's oriented in the other direction? That's because that's where the game wants to put your door. You can move this this battle stations back to the way we had it with the with the computer core before. However, it will not put a door there onto your ladder well, but instead it's going to place a ladder somewhere uh, between the cargo hull and the battle stations. So, so if you decide to change this up, just be aware of that. Um, you're just going to have to, you know, place the hab the way the game wants you to place it. Uh, or else you're going to have an unwanted ladder maze. So the final point that I want to talk about is this uh, captain's quarters. Uh, you don't have to use tile if you want to keep it all Hope Tech. You're more than welcome. I just chose the tile one because it's a lot brighter and cleaner. Um, I love the grungy Hope Tech aesthetics, but I kind of don't like sleeping in that. So <laughs> I opted for a cleaner captain's quarters. So for the final point I kind of want to talk about are kind of the roleplay aspects of our Habs layout. Uh, there, it's not too crazy. It's not like some of my other builds that's real heavy on the roleplay, but uh, this I did try to select the Habs in kind of an intelligent manner. Um, we have a workshop down here because I always do that in my builds. Um, we have a workshop in between the two entry and exit points. It's just convenience for me personally. Um, but we move up to the second deck here, and I like to think of this deck as kind of the engineering slash storage area. This is a freighter, um, but we have an armory attached to our cargo hull here. Um, we've got these two little one by ones. As I mentioned earlier, they're, I see them as kind of extensions of the main cargo hull. So I guess this is kind of the, the cargo deck. 
So we move up to the third deck here. This is, I like to call this kind of operations and, and crew living. So we have a computer core here. Um, I really like the interior of the computer core and I can kind of think of it as, you know, a, a, a separate control area from the cockpit, um, a place where your crew can kind of monitor various things of the ship and, and manage the ship systems. And then attached to them are all the crew support modules. So here we've got Nala One Berth and the living quarters attached to each other. And then back here we've got the infirmary. And then of course here across across our ladder well, uh, the captain gets their own little private space at the bow of the ship. Um, and then of course at the top deck, um, we have our main sort of you know, control deck. We have a control station here and the cockpit there where you can helm the ship. So with that, that kind of does it for the Habs layout. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to this big pile of stuff. Okay, so this is the big pile of stuff. It's a, It's got cargo modules, fuel tanks, main modules. It's got a little bit of everything here. So we're gonna be flip-flopping a lot in the build menu. So I will try to keep this as organized and concise as I possibly can. So just be aware we will be flip-flopping a lot. So let's begin. Um, we're gonna mostly be working our way from the top down, but I'm gonna begin with some of the modules here in the center because we're gonna be capping all that off with all of these uh, structural pieces and it'll be kind of a pain to get the camera down there. So let's go ahead and start with the, kind of this section right here. So go ahead and tab on over to your structurals tab. Focus on this point right here on the Hope Tech storeroom. We're just gonna place a window there, a porthole, okay? Gives us a nice view of our landing area. Okay, so go ahead and tab on over to your reactors tab. Right on this shelf here, we'll be placing our C-class reactor. So if you opted to use one other than this 8Z reactor, just make sure that it's got anchor points on the sides because we're going to be using this as a structural piece later on. Um, go ahead and tab over to your fuel tanks. We're going to be attaching this 600T HE3 tank right here in between these two halves. I chose the smallest one to save a little bit on mass, but if you'd like more fuel, you can choose one of the larger variants of this helium-3 tank or any other fuel tank for that matter. Again, just make sure that whatever tank you choose has mounting points that surround the uh, perimeter of it because we're going to be using both of these modules as connector points for uh, future uh, parts okay so while we are in our fuel tanks tab let's focus on this spot right here on our computer core right in front of our reactor we're going to be using two of these guys here stacked on top of each other a 500t helium 3 tank two of them stacked on top of each other like this okay and we are now ready to start placing structural. So go ahead and let's go look at this point right here on that 500T helium-3 tank we just placed. We're going to be using two Hope Tech pipes B mid. And both of those get attached to each other like this and fixed to that back anchor point on our 500T helium-3 tank. Okay, let's go ahead and focus on this top anchor point on our HE3 tank. We're just going to put a little antenna there. Uh, Hope Tech Marker A. Okay. Down here, in this sort of empty spot here, on that anchor point, we are going to be placing a Hope Tech Cap E mid. Just like this. Okay. And then on the top anchor point on our Hope Tech cap B mid, we can just copy one of these because we're going to be using a uh, Hope Tech Pipes B mid there. So can control G it and move it over. I'm just going to move my... All right. So still under the uh, structural tab, uh, focus on the top of our one by one ladder well here. On the rooftop, we're going to place a Deimos Spine D. That completes this level here, these sort of two levels in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and focus on this point on both sides. So the second from the top deck. Okay, we're just going to take a couple of these tile end caps 
and stick them there on that second from the top floor. Okay. It gives it kind of a cool intake look when you're looking at the ship from head on. All right, next, we're going to be using these uh, Hope Tech Cap A's. Now, these are really cool parts because they've got a lot of different options. They have port, starboard, and center options, as well as four mid and aft variants of each kind. So there's a lot of different options for these guys, and you might have missed them if you haven't messed too much with uh, Hope Tech structural parts. Um, we got all these different port and starboard variants, mid, four, and aft. And then if you press Z to flip it, um, it changes from port to starboard and vice versa and center. We got a lot of cool little options for these, these sort of accent pieces. Um, so for this build, we're going to be using the port and starboard variants. So go ahead and grab yourself six Hope Tech Cap A's. We're going to be using three per side, port and starboard. And we're going to use one nose cap on the, on the front here, like so and then four mid variants behind it, like this. Okay, so go ahead, if you want to copy my loadout configuration, go ahead and tab over to your weapons. Um, I'm just using two PB300 alpha turrets um, and they're just gonna go on those hard point, uh, hard point spots on these little nose caps. Okay, so now that we got that stuff built, let's focus on this little shelf on both sides. Uh, we're going to be using four of these Galleon S202 cargo holds. Two per side. Like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and move down one level. So while we're still in our cargo holds tab, we're going to be using four of these 200 cm ballast shielded cargo holds. We're going to use two per side and they will be getting attached just like this. Whoops, this window came with. Just like this, okay? And with this empty spot in the middle. So focusing on that empty spot in the middle, we're going to be placing two Horizon weapon mounts, one per side. Just like this, okay. And again, if you'd like to copy my weapon loadout configuration, I'm using two more of these PB300 alpha turrets mounted on the top of those Horizon weapon mounts, just like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and focus on this point on both sides in the back. We're just going to use two port and starboard portholes, just like that. Okay. So we're done with this level. Let's go ahead and move down one level. So we're going to be focusing on this point right here on both sides. So anchored to these two spots, we're just going to take a couple of Hope Tech pipes A mid and put them in like that. And then we'll just cap off the fronts of those pipes with the uh, four pipes variant. Okay. Like so. Okay. Next, we're going to skip this spot and focus on this spot on both sides. We're just going to be placing portholes on either side. Like that. And like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and inspect the back of the ship. So here, in this little empty space, um, we're going to be placing a Nova Galactic Bracer under your Structurals tab. Okay. Notice here um, on the other side we have a Hope Tech 1x1. So um, 
I opted not to put a one by one over here because every time I tried, it would wreak havoc on the ladder and door placement. But we do need to have something in this spot on both sides with anchor points on the side and the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on the two rear anchor points of our Hope Tech one by one and our Nova Galactic bracer. We're going to be sticking two Hope Tech pipes A mids on either side like this. And then we'll cap those both off with the uh, four pipes, Hope Tech pipes four. Okay, let's go ahead and swing the camera around. Let's go ahead and focus on the bottom anchor points on those Hope Tech pipes four. Uh, and we're just gonna place two Deimos bellies on either side, just like this. And then on the fronts of those uh, Deimos bellies, we're going to be placing two Hope Tech pipes A mid. And it should look like this, one per side. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our build a little bit closer to this stuff here. So let's go ahead and place these guys here on the bottom of the ship to complete it all. So I'm going to go ahead and move these over. So go ahead and tab over to your cargo holds. We're going to be using four more of these guys, these S202 cargo holds. Now I've got four of them flipped upside down with the with the bevel or the curve or whatever you want to call it facing inwards uh, and it is kind of aesthetically pleasing when you're walking in through the belly here to board the ship um, but it also serves a purpose because we need to have these these side faces um, have anchor points and uh, a quick note about these guys these aren't part of the interior um, these hab spines are just there for exterior decoration Okay, so place one of your S202 cargo holds, and we're going to be putting the first one back here in front of the Hope Tech Pipes A and beside our ship bed 200 landing bay. Okay, go ahead and skip this spot and move forward one, and we're going to be placing our second S202 cargo hold right there. Okay, just like this. And we're just going to do that to the other side as well. So go ahead and copy that over. And now go ahead and tab over to your Habs and grab those two Hope Tech Hab Spines that we picked up from Hope Hopetown. And they're going to get placed between our four cargo modules, just like this. Okay. If you didn't grab these Hab Spines, you can, you can actually use a Nova Galactic Bracer if you'd like. Uh, I just chose these because they look cooler and we were already there at Hope Town, so I figured might as well grab a couple. <laughs> so to finish off this whole section, let's go ahead and tab on over to our engines tab. We're going to be using these four SAL 6830 engines. So the first engine, the top engine, gets placed here on these two points, like so. Then our two side engines get placed here on those two points on either side. Like that. Okay. And then our final engine gets placed on that bottom anchor point on our spherical helium-3 tank. Just like that. All right. So let's go ahead and just double click and make sure everything is attached. Sweet, sweet. Well, congratulations. Most of the ship is now complete. So let's go ahead and move on to the bow section. Uh, we're gonna be doing the bulk of the glitch building here and with the landing gear uh, at the very end. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to this bow section next. All right, let's go ahead and move our build a little bit closer to our workspace. So this is going to be another little bit of a mishmash between different parts. So we'll be kind of flip-flopping through the build menu a little bit, but this part should be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead, focus on this point right here. Tab on over to your structural. We're going to be using a Hope Tech Riser B right there. Okay. So focusing on this point here, tab on over to your shields. If you picked up one of these tower N420s like um, I have, uh, it's going to get mounted there. 
if you opted to not have a smokestack and have a more functional shield, uh, your mileage may vary depending on what shield you place, um, but um, this is how I've got mine set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on over to this point right here. So we're going back to our Structurals tab, and we're just placing a top-mounted porthole there. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and move down one level, look at the sides of our control station. We're just going to be using four portholes, two per side. Just covering all those spots up with windows for excellent visibility of wherever you're flying this ship. Okay. Let's go ahead and move down one level. So let's swing the camera to the front, focusing on this empty space here. Our Tayo forward sensors is going to go right there. Okay. Next, let's uh, focus on these two slots on our captain's quarters. We're just going to be placing four Tayo side caps there. I'm using the uh, side cap B variant with the hard point attachments, even though we're not using the hard points, so you can use whichever side cap variant you'd like. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you've got two per side. Okay. Now we are going to get into our first gl uh, glitch build. So we're going to be performing the uh, flip glitch. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But first we need to get our little glitch build space ready to do so. So first, let's take these two end caps, these two tile end caps, and just move them off real quick. And swing your camera around down here real fast to this uh, Nova Bracer that we placed earlier. Just copy it and uh, just stick them in that empty spot that we just created, two per side. And I'll explain why in one second. So we want to take this Nova Wing. We want to put it there, but it won't work because this tile side cap's in the way. So we're, we can perform what's called the flip glitch to glitch build it onto that point. So what we need to do, we need to place these Nova Wings in the builder first. We can't just select an anchor point and glitch build it this way. It unfortunately doesn't work that way. Um, we have to place the item in the build space first. So go ahead and place a Nova Wing, okay? Now the reason I took these side caps out is because it doesn't have an anchor point in the front. We have to have some free anchor point for this glitch build to work. So that's why these Nova Braces are here because they, they can anchor to the ship and then it has a free anchor spot in the front where we want it. So take your wing, anchor it to that spot so it snaps, wait for the snap sound. Okay, it snapped in, so it's red. Game says no, but we say yes. And to say yes, we just flip it twice, once, twice, and then uh, move the mouse cursor just a little bit until it until it snaps back in. So let's do that one more time. So move it in, it snapped, flip, flip, snap sound effect, and then you press cancel. And check it out, it's attached. And look, we can even delete this Nova Bracer now. And it's still attached because it glitched in and it somehow attached itself to the tile captain's quarters, I believe. So we can actually move this guy back in now. And, and look, it's still attached. So isn't that pretty cool? So let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'll show you once more a little bit quicker this time. So go ahead and take your Nova Wing, place it in the, in the build space, snap it onto that Nova Bracer, flip, flip, sound effect, cancel, double click, it's connected. Let's go ahead and delete that bracer. And let's go ahead and move our tile end cap back in. Let's just re-verify that everything's connected, and it is. So congratulations, if that was your very first glitch build, you've just done it. It's really easy, it opens up a lot of creative opportunities. Yeah, I, I just love glitch building. <laughs> uh, it becomes muscle memory, it's super easy. Uh, and don't worry, we'll be getting a little bit more practice here in a little bit when we place all these landing gear. But for now, let's focus on getting the rest of this bow section complete first. So, let's go ahead and focus on the endpoints of these Nova Wings that we just glitch built. If you want to copy my weapons loadout, tab on over to your weapons tab. And I'm just using two PB300 Alpha Beams on the uh, end hard point connector. On the ends of the wings, on both sides. So just, just two, place just like that. Okay. 
Next, let's go ahead and focus on these two spots. Here's the uh, Slayton grav drive, and we mount that in that little empty space here. Okay, so let's go ahead and swing the camera to look at the bottom now. These two points here, we're going to be using a pair of Stroud engine bracer bees under your structurals tab. Just two like so. Now I know they're Stroud Eklund parts. Originally I had these um, Hope Tech riser bees down there, but honestly I really like the pillared look of these uh, Stroud bracers, so I use those instead. Okay. So on the bottoms of our Stroud bracers, we're going to use a Deimos B skeg and a Deimos A skeg. Just like that. And that completes our sort of astral engine um, trademark engine compartment look right there. And that completes the bow section. So let's go ahead and get the final bit of glitch building done on our landing gear. Okay, so for the landing gear, we're going to be working our way from the front towards the back. And we'll be starting with our Hope 6 landing gear, and then we'll finish with our Hope 55 landing gear. We'll do those last. So we'll move those guys off. So, go ahead and focus on the bottom side connectors on our Slate and Grav Drive. Okay, we're going to have to glitch build our Hope 6 gear in there. So go ahead and tab on over to your landing gear tab. Find two, Hope 6 landing gear four. Okay, so if you remember how to do the uh, flip glitch, we need to place them in the builder first. So go ahead and place them and then drag your first one over onto that connector point that we want it on. Okay, here it's snapped in. Flip, flip, snapped, cancel. It's connected. So let's do that on the other side. Drag it over, attach it to that point, flip, flip, Sound effect, cancel. Double click, it's attached. Next, we're going to focus on these empty spaces here behind our freshly glitch built Hope Tech 6 landing gear. And we are going to use two Hope 6 mid landing gear this time. Again, these will need glitch build, so go ahead and place them in your builder. Click and drag it over to that empty spot, stick it in there, flip, flip, cancel, it's connected. Do that on the other side now. Flip, flip. Rolling the dice, I can't see. Let me turn the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Go ahead and put it in. Flip, flip, cancel, and it's connected. Nice. Let's go ahead and focus on these points here. We're going to be using two, two more Hope 6 Landing Gear 4, so you can probably just copy the ones that we just glitch built there up front if you'd like and move them to that spot there on both sides. No glitch building required for these outer ones. You place two, one per side, just like that, okay? And it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna use the uh, aft variants next. Two aft variants, one per side, attached to our cab spine, just like this, and no glitch building required. All right, let's go ahead and get our Hope 55 landing gear placed, and then we'll be done. So go ahead and focus on this point and this point. Okay. They're going to need glitch build, so go ahead and uh, you might as well just make it easy on yourself. Just go ahead and place all four of your Hope 55 landing gear in the builder. I'm going to go ahead and glitch build mine here and here. Whoops go and again on this nova bracer flip flip cancel and it's connected do that again on your other side so move this guy in snap it on flip flip cancel move your next guy on flip flip cancel and everything is connected so congratulations if you're still with me you have just assembled your brand new Astral Engine ship from Eeg Ship Shop and Hope Tech. So congrats. Wasn't too bad. It was a pretty simple build. A lot of little pieces, but, you know, relatively simple. A lot less complicated than some of my other ship builds I've given tutorials on. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about my coloring mindset. 
So basically, all I really did with the coloring was leave all of the main Hope Tech parts the default color, and anything that wasn't Hope Tech and handles shading a little bit differently, I tried to match the color, this sort of, you know, charcoal, gunmetal black, whatever you want to call it, default color that Hope Tech Habs use. Um, the goal was to make this kind of look like any other ship that Hope Tech would offer. I didn't want it to look super duper different, so yeah, I made all the parts kind of try to go along with these Hope Tech default colors. I did add a little bit of color to the cockpit here. I added this splash of sort of dark blue. In low light, this kind of matches with the dark gray color, the black color, but when there's a lot of light, this dark blue kind of shines and shimmers in the sunlight. So it's kind of a neat little touch, you know, with the sunlight running across the uh, bow of the ship, you get a nice kind of dark blue, shiny blue color to it. I don't know, I think it looks kind of neat. Um, but that's really the only deviation I, I, I moved from the traditional Hope Tech color scheme. So that's it for the coloring mindset. Um, but yeah, not too uh, complicated with the coloring. So now that we got her painted, got her fully assembled, let's go ahead and take a tour of the interior to make sure everything's correct. So I'll see you inside. Alright, so here we are at Eek Ship Shop. It's a beautiful morning here. And right behind me is the Astral Engine, so let's go and uh, head inside, see what's going on. Here's that bow section that I like to think of as the trademark Astral Engine look. And I like to take this moment to kind of appreciate just how tall this thing is. I spend so much time in the ship builder and with the overhead camera, and I often forget just how large these ships can get. <laughs> Here we go, into the belly of the beast. <laughs> so I'm not going to go too in-depth with each module, but I'm just going to kind of give a uh, quick walkthrough. So here we are on deck one in the entryway. Here's our 2x1 uh, workshop that I put here on all my builds for convenience near the uh, entry and exit points. So we're hopping up to deck two. We are in the central ladder well, the uh, stack of four one by ones that we placed earlier. So let's move towards the uh, stern side of the ship. So here's our two by two cargo hull. And over here on the left hand side of the ship is our Hope Tech Armory. So we're going to go ahead and inspect these two um, extras that I placed back here, the two extra one by ones. Um, the storerooms. I like to think of these as kind of the vaults, I guess, where we store our extra value cargo. And then here is the uh, back facing one that overlooks the uh, landing site right here. I do enjoy putting these windows on a lot of my builds. You can't really see outside very well, but I enjoy having these here to give me or anyone else who chooses to build along with me, um, you know, a sense of scale of the vessel and kind of their place uh, inside of the ship. Um, so we can really just see all these pieces uh, in their true glory <laughs> from different perspectives on foot out each porthole window. So here's another example. I stuck this one on here and uh, these two Hope 55 landing gear provide kind of a really cool framed view of um, whatever you're looking at when you're landed. Or even in space, Your ship for that matter. So much better than Dad's? Like a lot. Well, thank you, Cora. I take that as a compliment. So let's head on up to the third deck. We're back in the central ladder well. And here we're moving aft. This is the 2x2 computer core. One of my favorite 2x2s of all time. Um, Bethesda did a great job with this one with all these little cramped hallways. I love the flow of traffic through here. I mean, we're walking through this doorway and it feels like we're in a different hab now, but we're actually still in that 2x2 computer course. So I really, really like this one. So we're moving aft. Uh, we are now on the right-hand side of the ship in the aft section. So here's the uh, infirmary. I wouldn't get any advanced procedures done in here because this place kind of doesn't really look very sterile to me, but, you know, I guess creature comforts 
<laughs> that we don't have <laughs> in these dirty Hope Tech Habs versus uh, what I'm used to with Nova Galactic and some of the other manufacturers. So here we are going into the crew living area. So we are now on the left hand side of the ship moving aft. This is the all in one berth. And this is the living quarters. Now I'm not a huge fan of this living quarters. I feel it's kind of wide open and there's a lot of unutilized space in here, but I guess that's kind of the point. Um, I do like stacking the all-in-one berth and the living quarters together because it, they do kind of complement each other when they're together like this. We have a nice wide open area for the crew to hang out and sleep. Uh, and then we have a more cozier compartmentalized living space here with, you know, the kitchen area. Um, and a restroom and a couple of bunk beds. So I do really enjoy stacking the two uh, Hope Tech living habs together like that. So let's go ahead. We're back in the uh, stack of one by ones and we're moving towards the bow of the ship now. And here's the Tayo captain's quarters. So this is why I chose it. Uh, I personally don't like sleeping in such filth. Um, the Tayo one looks a lot cleaner. It's a lot brighter in here, less depressing, less industrial. It still has scuffs and stains all over the place, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, you can see this is why I chose it for me personally. So let's go ahead and head on up to the fourth deck now. This will be the top of the ship. There's nothing facing aft up here. Um, rather, we go towards the bow of the ship. Here's our control station with really awesome visibility from the top up here. Got four windows surrounding the thing, and we also have a top-facing porthole. And then last but not least, here's our Nova Galactic Magellan cockpit. Let's have a seat in the pilot's seat. So I think everything kind of checks out. All the ladders and doors are where they're supposed to be. So I think she's space worthy. So I shall see you in space. That just about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the build tutorial section was easy and clear for you to follow. But most importantly, I'm wishing you happy hauling in your new Hope Tech Astral Engine. And I will see you in the next one.